Good to see you. Uh, first question, how has pre-season been? Very good. Um, I certainly can't and won't take all the credit. Um, Vikram started the winter um, after COVID. Uh, it was about you know, getting some hard work done, which the boys had worked tirelessly up till Christmas. And then obviously things have evolved, but mm. um, certainly from the players' point of view and management observing, helping, being part of it, um, we couldn't have asked any more from the players. They're uh, to a man in a, in a pretty good place apart from the unfortunate ones who picked up niggles and injuries along the way. This head coach role, how much are you enjoying it so far? Because as you say, it was, a, it was a quick transition, wasn't it? Uh, you brought Jim Trout in, you brought Azza in as well. At the moment, how much are you, are you enjoying this new role? I've always very much enjoyed the coaching. Um, obviously, the role has its changes. Um, we're adapting to that a little bit. Uh, one from an admin side, mm -hmm. um, Myself, computers, modern technology is not something that go hand in hand, but uh, my good wife and myself have learned a few extra skills, well, she already knew them, um, to organise some things. Um, I, I suppose the real proof in the pudding um, will be once we start making team selections mm -hmm. and how we um, play on the back of it, how people react to those sorts of things, and that will be where my skill sets come in, that um, we keep people motivated moving forward if they get bad news but also people not too uh, comfortable when they get the good news. We need that sort of happy medium of, uh, of performance being, being everything, really. Um, but I hope from a, a management style, um, it, it will be similar to Vikram in some ways. Mm. I just can't do it quite as eloquently and quite as cool as Vikram used to do it. I'll have to do it my way. Mm. Um, but there's none of the Ferguson right act sort of stuff, which I know people would expect had they watched me play uh, from time to time, that was just what I needed to mm. do as a player to get the best out of myself. It's certainly nothing like that from a, a coaching point of view. Uh, how's Jim settled in? Uh, he's, he's obviously a guy you know very, you've known him for years. Um, how he, has he settled in? Because he's a great man to get, isn't he? Oh, uh, he was in demand. Mm. For, for us to get um, and secure him here is uh, a massive uh, coup for the club, but, but also for me personally. Uh, he's, a, he's a man that's been through uh, the different roles at Warwickshire. Um, uh, following on from his on-field exploits as a player. Um, he has a wealth of knowledge. Um, he has a way of dealing with players, which I think is a really good touch. Uh, there's a firmness, but also a, an understanding and a softness with it, which is the biggest compliment I can pay any coach. Um, no, he's a huge asset, and we, I shall rely on him, we shall rely on him um, throughout the season and, and moving forward. Um, and I see him as a, a, a massive part of, of the shall we call it the supposed brains off the field and as as well that we all we all know, legend of this place anyway but that we know his skill set as well so, so again when i saw that i thought that is a shrewd move getting out of the move back in yeah i feel like all bases are covered as would have forgotten most things that people suggest they know about bowling mm -hmm. um he is somebody that knows all facets of the game we talk about him with his bowling but let's not forget as a player who's an all-rounder um, and got lots of runs mm -hmm. uh, as well as the wickets um, he's evolved his coaching skill sets uh, with franchise things, with Pakistan. You know, he's, he's, he's worked with the elite of the elite for a period of time now. Um, he is somebody, again, he's a, a huge asset. I'm fortunate I've got one on my left, one on my right, mm. and one that sits on my head in Alex Stewart. Mm. So I'm, I'm, I'm covered off and very fortunate uh, from my position. Um, but, um, yeah, the proof will be in the pudding whether... Uh, the best laid plans turn out to uh, output and points on the field. And your captain, I've spoken to him this morning, he seems in a good place. Uh, we've, talk, we've talked about this hunger thing, haven't we? But throughout your squad, be it the youngsters or be it the sort of elder statesmen these days, experience players, there's a real hunger in this squad this season, isn't there? Yeah, there is. Uh, and I think that's because hopefully, touch wood, COVID is now uh, something that we can, we can move on as we were doing uh, pre-COVID times. Uh, we can operate in a manner. Um, and we do actually see that sort of ruthless nature come out of players because they work harder, they get better over long periods of hard work and it's not easy to get to those places. So when you do get to it as a player, you cherish it and you want to turn that into output, into runs and wickets and wins. Um, Rory's no different. Uh, he's had some setbacks, of course he has, but um, there's been a couple of tweaks. We need to now be there for him um, as he has been for the club as a player for a long period of time and, and our leader um, we need to make sure that we have him at this period where he's doing some work to then 
kickstart and go on and beyond where he's already been to. Um, I don't want him thinking just the, the here and now. I, I want him to go back into that England team by getting lots of runs and na nail that position down and make it so that uh, nobody can have any um, doubts as to whether he is the best opener in the country, as in my eyes he is and has been for a period of time now. Um, we just need to afford him everything that um, he gets back to that place. Yeah, and, and schedule-wise, uh, uh, I'm not going to discuss that here, but, but, but I'm just thinking Red Bull-wise, you know what's coming up for the, the first six weeks of the season, but, but you, above anybody, know how important it is to get off to a solid start, and, and that's key, isn't it? Yeah, I, I would say from historically, uh, the club is a slow starter uh, in Red Bull cricket. We've made some tweaks, we've uh, made some decisions in our training to try and how that isn't the case. Um, I think the uh, the definition of his insanity is doing the same things, expecting a different outcome. Mm -hmm. So we've tweaked a few things, and at times, you know, it's not been easy for for some of the boys who find find themselves doing that a little bit more. But it's to hopefully get them readier for the start of the year. Um, I feel like we have a wonderful squad, yeah. but a wonderful squad doesn't mean you win anything. Um, we need to manage that squad. Uh, we need to manage the periods of uh, of the season, um, and this first bit is completely in our control. As I say, we've had a good winter of work. We've got six games. We know what's coming. We can't be blindsided by anything unless we get injuries um, or overt weather that we're not expecting. Mm. Um, we, we are ready. Uh, we are planned. And um, we are well worked. We're drilled.